Welcome to the deep dive. This time, we are going full Wall Street. Okay. Remember those company earnings reports you sent over? Yeah. Well, we thought, what happens when you set like three cutting edge AI language models loose on that financial data? That's a fascinating question. Can AI truly act as like a financial analyst? Not just crunching numbers, right. but extracting meaningful insights yeah. about a company's performance and potential. Exactly. So we're diving into a study um, where researchers gave GBT 4.0, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and Gemini Advanced access to the first quarter 2024 earnings reports from Amazon, NVIDIA, Meta, Apple, and Tesla. Wow. Talk about a tech titan showdown. Indeed. The researchers asked the AI to analyze each one across five key areas. Revenue trends, profitability, cost management, cash flow, and future outlook. Right. The bread and butter of financial analysis. <laughs> so did our AI analysts deliver insightful commentary. Or crash and burn like a poorly managed spec. Uh, the results are intriguing. Thank you for tuning in to Quantopian's Quant Radio, your AI-driven podcast exploring everything related to quantitative finance. If you enjoy this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on future releases. For more quant-focused content, join us at community.quantopian.com. There you can explore a wealth of resources, connect with fellow quants, engage in insightful discussions, and enhance your skills through our extensive range of online courses. Quant Radio is intended to help people develop their knowledge and skills in quant finance. This podcast is not intended to provide investment advice. And now, back to the episode. Each AI brought its own strengths to the table. GPT-40 is the master of detail, okay. drilling down into the numbers, providing, you know, granular insights into each company's performance. For example, it meticulously broke down Amazon's revenue growth by segment. Okay. Showing how each area of the business contributed to their uh, impressive 13% overall increase. 13% growth for Amazon. I mean, they're practically a force of nature. Mm -hmm. In e-commerce and cloud computing, I'm guessing the AI analysts were impressed. Absolutely. Yeah. But GPT-40 didn't just stop at the high-level figures. Right. It dug deeper into the nuances of Amazon's performance. Okay. For example, it highlighted how the company managed to keep expense growth slower than revenue growth. Right. A sign of um, efficient management in a challenging economic environment. Okay, so we've got one AI proving it can handle the complexities of a company like Amazon. What about the other two analysts? Did they live up to the hype? Claude 3.5 Sonnet was true to its name, delivering beautifully crafted summaries and distilling the essential takeaways from each report. Think of it as like the executive summary expert. Right. Then there's Gemini Advanced, which struck a balance between the detail-oriented GPT-40 and the summarizing Claude 3.5 Sonnet. It offered a solid overview, while also highlighting key factors that set each company apart. So they all passed the basic financial literacy test. Right. But could they go beyond just understanding the numbers? Yeah. And actually think strategically. Like, could they pick stocks? That's where things get really interesting. Okay. The researchers wanted to see if the AIs could make judgments about investment potential. Wow. So they challenged each AI to rank the five companies based on their perceived potential for future success. Okay. Before you reveal the rankings, let's be clear. This is not financial advice. Right. We're simply exploring the AI's thought processes and seeing if they can make, like, informed decisions. Absolutely. This is about understanding how AI might approach investment analysis, right. not about blindly following their recommendation. Now for the big reveal. Okay. Two of the AIs, yeah. Claude 3.5 Sonnet and Gemini Advanced, came up with the exact same ranking, huh. while GPT-40 had a completely different order. Wow. Talk about a split decision. Yes. Now I'm on the edge of my seat. Give us the rankings. Yeah. Who did the AIs crown as the kings of tech? Claude 3.5, Sonnet, and Gemini Advanced both put Meta at the top, okay. followed by Amazon, and then NVIDIA. Apple landed in fourth place with Tesla bringing up the rear. Meta at number one. That's surprising. I know they've been pouring resources into the metaverse. Maybe that's what swayed the AIs. That's a key insight. Yeah. Both Claude 3.5, Sonnet, and Gemini Advanced highlighted Meta's massive revenue growth, a whopping 27% year over year. Wow. They were also impressed by the company's expanding user base and their dominance in social media advertising. It makes you wonder if they're putting too much faith in the metaverse gamble. Yeah. But hey, maybe the AIs are seeing something we humans are missing. Perhaps. And that assessment of Amazon in second place isn't surprising. Right. They're an unstoppable force in e-commerce and cloud computing. Yeah. 
Both AIs pointed to Amazon's consistent revenue and income growth, driven by the continued expansion of AWS and their ever-growing ecosystem of services. Makes sense. And NVIDIA in third. I mean, yeah. you've been on a tear lately with all the hype around AI. Exactly. And the AIs recognized this. Yeah. They noted NVIDIA's strong performance in the data center market, fueled by the increasing demand for AI capabilities. They also highlighted the company's strategic focus on developing new products right. and expanding into new markets. All right. Let's talk about the outlier here. Why did GPT-40 have such a different perspective on the rankings? GPT-40 saw things a bit differently. Okay. It placed Amazon in the top spot, followed by NVIDIA, then Apple, and finally, Tesla. It's fascinating to see how GPT-40 prioritized Amazon's consistent growth and strong cash flow performance. It seems to be a bit more risk averse than the other two AIs. So GPT-40 is all about that steady, reliable growth. Yeah. What about Apple and Tesla? Where did they fall in its ranking? GPT-40 placed Apple in third. Okay. Recognizing its solid revenue and profitability figures, it did note uh, a slight decrease in product revenue. Right. But it seemed more impressed by Apple's um, overall stability. Okay. As for Tesla, it landed at the bottom of GPT-40's list. Tesla in last place. Yeah. Even for GPT-40. <laughs> That's surprising. You'd think with all the innovation they're driving, they'd rank higher. Well, GPT-40 was clearly concerned by Tesla's declining revenue and profitability in the first quarter of 2024. Remember, this analysis was based purely on that specific period. Right. Well, and Tesla did face some headwinds in early 2024. Okay, that makes sense. But the rankings themselves, those are just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. I want to dive deeper into the why. Like, what specific factors led each AI to its conclusions? That's a million dollar question. What's fascinating is how each AI focused on different aspects of the reports to, you know, reach its verdict. GPT-40, with its love for detail, right. really dug into the company's segment performance. Mm -hmm. It was like um, a detective piecing together clues, looking yeah. for hidden strengths and weaknesses within each area of a company's business. Okay, so like a financial forensics team. Yeah. Give us some examples. What kind of insights did this uh, AI detective uncover? Well, for Amazon, GPT-40 highlighted the incredible growth of their cloud computing division, AWS. Right. You know, as someone who follows the tech industry, you're probably well aware of just how dominant AWS has become. Yeah. It's a cash cow for Amazon. Right. And GPT-40 recognized this as a major factor in its top ranking for the company. Makes sense. What about NVIDIA? Remember, both GPT-40 and the other two AIs were bullish on their potential. Yes, and GPT-40 was particularly impressed by NVIDIA's dominance in the data center market, mm -hmm. fueled by the the insatiable demand for AI capabilities. Right, but yeah. NVIDIA is riding the wave of the AI revolution. Yeah. GPT-4 also noted their strong performance in gaming, although that segment was actually down year over year. It seems this AI analyst is able to separate short-term fluctuations from long-term trends. Interesting. So even within a company's diverse portfolio, these AIs can pick out the rising stars and the potential laggards. Right. What about Claude 3.5 Sonnet and Gemini Advanced? What were their key focus areas? These two AIs placed a lot of emphasis on overall revenue growth and profitability. Right. Meta clinched the top spot for both of them. Yeah. Largely due to its impressive 27% revenue surge. Right, right. Remember that figure? Yeah. It's a testament to their dominance in social media advertising. And their ambitious, albeit risky, metaverse plans. Right. It seemed like those two AIs were really captivated by um, Meta's metaverse gamble. Indeed. They both saw it as a potential game changer, yeah. even though it's still early days for that technology. Right. They also highlighted the continued growth of Meta's core social media platforms, mm -hmm. like Facebook and Instagram, right. which, let's be honest, are practically printing money through advertising. Okay, so we're starting to see how these AIs think. They're not just number crunching. They're looking for trends, understanding market dynamics, Yeah. and even evaluating risky bets like the Metaverse. Right. But can they also identify potential red flags? Yeah. Can they tell us, like, which companies might be facing headwinds? Absolutely. The researchers also asked the AIs to identify potential risks and challenges for each company. Think of it as getting a SWOT analysis straight from an AI. Okay. They were tasked with playing devil's advocate. Right. Pointing out not just the opportunities, but also the threats. Love it. So what kind of red flags were these AI analysts waving? Did they uncover any hidden skeletons in the closets of these 
tech giants? Well, for Amazon, all three AIs pointed to the looming threat of increased regulatory scrutiny. Right. You know, as someone who follows the tech industry, you've probably seen how governments around the world right. are starting to take a closer look at the power of big tech. And yeah. Amazon is definitely in the spotlight. Yeah, with their uh, sprawling empire across e-commerce, cloud computing, and even groceries. Oh. They're bound to attract attention from regulators. Absolutely. What about NVIDIA? Any potential pitfalls there? The AIs flagged the inherent volatility of the semiconductor industry as a key concern for NVIDIA. Right. Remember, they rely on a complex global supply chain, right. which, as we've seen in recent years, can be disrupted by anything from geopolitical tensions right. to natural disasters. Makes sense. You can have the best technology in the world, but if you can't get the raw materials to build your products, you're in trouble. Exactly. It's a reminder that even higher performing companies like NVIDIA right. are not immune to external shocks. What about Meta? Were the AIs worried about anything besides Zuckerberg's metaverse obsession? Of course, privacy concerns and regulatory challenges were top of mind for all three AIs. When it came to Meta, uh -huh. the company has faced a lot of criticism over its handling of user data. Right. And those issues are not going away anytime soon. In fact, they're likely to intensify as regulators become more concerned about the power of social media giants. Yeah, that's a that's a constant battle for Meta and frankly for the entire social media industry. Yeah. What about Apple? You'd think they'd be pretty risk averse given their uh, reputation for control and stability. Interestingly, the AIs did point out a potential vulnerability for Apple. Oh. Their heavy reliance on iPhone sales. Right. While the iPhone continues to be a cash cow for them, yeah. the smartphone market is becoming increasingly saturated. Right. And Apple needs to find new avenues for growth. Uh -huh. They can't just keep relying on one product forever, right. no matter how iconic it is. Makes sense. You need to constantly innovate. Yeah. And diversify your revenue streams. Yeah. To, you know, to stay ahead in the tech world. Absolutely. All right. What about Tesla? What risks did the uh, AIs foresee for Elon Musk's electric vehicle empire? Well, besides the obvious concerns about production challenges yeah. and increased competition in the EV market, the AIs also highlighted a potentially overlooked risk. Tesla's negative free cash flow. Negative free cash flow. What does that mean in plain English? Imagine a company spending more money building factories and developing products than it's earning from sales. Okay. That's negative free cash flow. Right. It's a risky but potentially rewarding strategy. So they're like burning through cash to fuel their ambitions. Exactly. They're betting on the future. Right. Betting that those investments will eventually pay off. But it does make them a riskier investment. Right. At least according to our AI analysts. Okay, so Tesla's like the rebellious teenager of the group, pushing the boundaries, right. taking risks, yeah. while the other companies are more like established adults right. with more predictable and stable financial profiles. But can these AI analysts go beyond just analyzing numbers yeah. and actually assess a company's like overall financial health? I mean, can they tell us if a company is like a good credit risk? That's an intriguing question, and one that the researchers decided to put to the test. They specifically tasked GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet with providing credit assessments for each of the five companies. Okay, so they were basically playing the role of like credit rating agencies. Yes. Give us the juicy details. What did they find? One of the most fascinating findings was that uh, Tesla, despite its innovative products and ambitious growth plans, actually had the weakest credit profile, uh -huh. according to Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Tesla at the bottom of the credit ranking. I'm not surprised given that negative free cash flow we talked about earlier. Exactly. That was a major red flag for Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Mm. Yeah. It also noted Tesla's relatively high debt to equity ratio, right. which suggests that the company is relying more heavily on debt financing to fuel its growth. Right. It's a bit of a financial tightrope walk. So a bit more risk associated with Tesla compared to the other tech giants. That seems to be the AI's assessment. Now, it's important to remember that these are just snapshots of the company's financial health at a specific point in time. Right. Things can change quickly in the world of finance. Right. Things can change quickly in the tech world in general. Yeah. So who did the AIs crown as the most credit worthy of the bunch? Yeah. The most financially stable? Yeah. The least likely to default on their debts? Claude 3.5 Sonnet gave the top spot to Apple. Okay. Followed by Amazon, Meta, Dotira, NVIDIA, and then, of course, Tesla. Right. It seems like those steady, profitable giants yeah. 
are still the darlings of the credit world. Apple at the top. That's uh, no shocker. They're practically swimming in cash. Indeed. Claude 3.5 Sonnet highlighted Apple's uh, exceptionally strong liquidity, thanks to its massive cash reserves and low debt levels. It also noted the company's consistent profitability and um, diversified revenue streams. They're the epitome of financial stability. So we've got Apple, the golden child of financial health. Right. And Tesla, the rebellious teenager pushing the limits. And somewhere in between, we have Amazon, yeah. Meta, and NVIDIA, each with its own unique blend of strengths and weaknesses. Precisely. And all of this underscores a, a crucial point. AI can provide us with incredible insights into a company's financial performance. Right. But it's still up to humans to interpret those insights right, and, and they, make informed decisions. Right. These AI analysts are like powerful tools. Right. But we need skilled craftspeople to wield them reluctantly. We need to understand their limitations yeah. and be aware of potential biases. Absolutely. And that brings us to an, an interesting observation from GPT-4's analysis. When assessing Tesla's creditworthiness, it pointed out that the company's negative free cash flow right. actually reflects its heavy investment in future growth. So it's not necessarily a sign of financial weakness, right. but rather a strategic decision to prioritize long-term gains over short-term profits. Exactly. And this raises an important question. Is it always better to prioritize short-term profits? Or are there times when it makes sense to invest heavily in the future? even if it means sacrificing immediate returns. This is something that investors grapple with all the time. Yeah. And it seems like our AI analysts are giving us some food for thought in that regard. This is where human judgment comes in. Absolutely. Weighing the potential rewards against the risks, making those tough decisions based not just on numbers, right. but on our understanding of the companies, yeah. the industries, yeah. and the broader economic landscape. And with that, We'll leave you to ponder the possibilities. The future of finance is being written right now. Happy investing, folks. <laughs>